halfway through working on the boat, and then I realized uh, this would probably be a good time to make a catch-up video slash what I'm doing. Because I'm doing some pretty complicated stuff, uh, and I didn't really know how I wanted to tackle it, so halfway through I was like, well, you know, learn from my mistakes kind of stuff. Um, some quick updates. The bow support wave breaker thing, which I have cleverly named it, um, is being kind of modeled up and shaped up. So I, what I did simply was kind of glue together a bunch of uh, two by fours, uh, screw them together, glue them together, and then just kind of cut the basic profile of the bow breaker. So when we buy the expensive wood, we aren't trying to make models of it. Um, and we can just use that as the template and then go forward. The back, which I will show you in just a sec. Uh, we made, I keep saying we, I made the transom um, support extension that's fiber, gonna be fiberglass in, so it's been cut out, it's been trimmed, cut out, resin, and now it's ready to be in place. It's just been, it's been busy, guys. It's just kind of been easier just to whittle away at it, not making so such strict made videos. Um, so, sorry about the kind of late upload slash not even uploading kind of stuff. Um, it's just, it's been easier just to like do a couple things. And the stuff I'm doing is like, well, I've shown how to do this previously, but today, today is kind of a big day. Um, we are making, we are working on the bow, uh, the stern extension, rather, the stern extension um, profiles, which are is probably going to be one of the most complicated parts of the boat. So yeah, stay tuned. Should be fun. Let's get to it. Just to give you guys a closer look about what I've done here is I started with a series of two by fours. Let me just puzzle piece this in here real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Like I didn't ever do anything. Uh, yeah, it'd be a shame to uh, not show off my craftsmanship here. So what I did was I took a series of two by fours. I kind of roughed them up like clay um, to kind of make the profile. And then I just kind of sculpted in a line there that I thought looked good with the boat. Um, you know, most of this kind of like I talked about previously in the design video, most of this is very much just kind of sculpting. It's coming in, it's like, well, you know, let's carry that line through, let's let's cut it there, let's, you know, extend it there. Um, so yeah, that was um, nothing, nothing too crazy. Wasn't too, you know, considered in terms of like mathematical formulas or anything. It was just very much like, well, that one feels good. And then I cut it on the band bandsaw and we screwed it in place. So yeah, we are making progress here. So let's head to the back. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is one of the most complicated parts of the boat. So what we want to do, talked about previously in the, in the design video, is extend the stern of the boat. So you saw me build this, you saw me um, talk about the design, and so now I'm going to attempt to continue on it. It's just one of those things that's just so mentally uh, draining and trying, so it's just difficult to build up the motivation to do it. But today, we're gonna do it. So, what the intent is, is this pink insulating foam. I've seen it done a couple of times. You have to paint it with like a latex paint or something. So you use this and you sculpt the outside of the boat. So this stuff sands really easy. You can make pretty complex curves with it. So if we took a sheet of this, screwed it to there, and then sculpted and blended it into the side of the boat, then we could paint it with latex to resist the heat and fiberglass over it with the deck on top, and now this is part of the boat. So to do that, however, since this stuff is kind of difficult to use or cut, um, cut very cleanly anyways, I have made a template. And this is where you guys come in. Uh, I was halfway through doing this and I was like, well, this is probably gonna be good, um, especially for me later in life, where I'm like, well, how the heck did I do that and why did I do that? So I made a template out of chipboard, put it up there, it was a big sheet, drew the lines, took it off, cut it, put it back on, and it fits pretty good. So now the next step of what I'm going to do is take the template 
bring it over to the bigger sheet of pink foam, which I have, transfer the lines, and then try to cut it out very cleanly. So stay tuned. Let's, uh, let's see how this turns out. Okay. So you got to remember, this is all tests for everything. Everything I do is just kind of like, well, let's see how this is going to work out. So this is an old um, soldering iron or a wood burner, I guess, or whatever. In any case, this part gets really, really hot. Um, and so to cut this, I tried cutting it with a saw and the saw, I mean, it cut through, but it just made it pretty gnarly, made it pretty messed up along this edge. And that's just not what I'm looking for. So I tried a couple test pieces with the soldering iron and what it does is it just makes a lot of a smoother finish. It, it's, it's basically, it's melting the foam to cut it. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and follow this line on this side of the line, the scrap side of the line and just kind of melt it along here. And hopefully we get a great um, starter piece or a great test piece out of this. And uh, maybe it won't even be a test piece. Maybe we, we'll just use it because as this project goes along, we're just getting it done. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how that works out. So stay tuned. in. Um, we have it screwed in just temporarily um, and it's looking pretty good. But um, now comes the more difficult part. The cutting out wasn't that bad. Um, we have to start to sculpt to match these lines through here. So this like has to be, this material right here has to be removed pretty significantly to try and get it to curve with the curve of the boat. So when we fiberglass it, everything looks the same. So. I think I'm gonna use a series of techniques. I think I'm gonna try and melt some of it. I'm gonna try and sand some of it. It's just gonna be tedious. Um, so yeah, wish me luck. Let's go. about that. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna try and keep the camera as still as I can. Um, but yeah, uh, we cut it out. I put in some guidelines to kind of show me where I wanted the curve to start. We're a little bit um, shy or uh, less than what we need to be, but that can be filled in with body filler or Bondo or such, or maybe a smaller piece of foam. Um, Cause this will disappear about like right there. The curve of that will disappear. Um, so we don't need to carry that all the way through. But yeah, I mean, can't be, uh, can't be too upset about that where that lines up and carries that line completely through the boats and to the tiller um, and to the transom. But yeah, no, very, very pleased. So uh, time to try and do the exact same thing on the other side and then we'll have a good, uh, good foundation to build off of. But yeah, let's keep going.